get thrown out of a shopping center? Who cares? Jesus got thrown out of better places than that. In fact, Paul, when he left the city, was never asked back, except by the believers. Paul was one big walking scar by the end of his ministry. Are you afraid to get thrown out of somewhere? Are you afraid of being called obnoxious? Don't be obnoxious. Just be what Jesus wants you to be, and the world will say you're obnoxious. You know, be excited about Jesus, but not just in your emotions. Emotions are fine. But you've got to be excited in your heart. You've got to get up and go, Lord, what can I do for you today? Instead, what can I do to have fun today? We always wake up on Saturday mornings. It's Saturday. What can I do today? Every day you should get up and it should be Christmas morning. Lord, how many other presents for you should I open up? What should I give you today? How about my next door neighbor? I'll work on him today. How about the guy down at the, at, at the librarian? I'll go in there and whisper to her for Christ. Who do you want today, Jesus? I'll give them to you if I can. Lead me. Anoint me. Open my mouth. Fill my mouth with words. I want to talk for you. I want to share for you. And most of all, I want to live for you so that my words are not empty. You know, we've got, we've got lots of campus clubs. Youth for, Youth for Christ, Campus Crusade for Christ. We've got to have a club called Big Mouths for Christ. Got to. Go ye into all nations, preach the gospel to every creature. How come everybody wants to stay in America? Because it's comfortable. Do you know that there's two billion people out there that don't know the Lord, that have never even heard the word Jesus? Man, there's more evangelists. Do you know there's more evangelists in this country? Like, we have 5% of the world's population and about 80% of its evangelists and ordained ministers. Do you know worldwide there's 40,000 missionaries and there's 400,000 registered Avon salesmen in this country alone? There's 40,000 missionaries worldwide from all denominations, and in this country, there's 400,000 Avon salesmen. Seems like Avon's getting more PR than Jesus. Well, you got to smell good, you know, to get in. <laughs> Four things. The word, fellowship, prayer. Open your mouth. Tell people he's coming. By the way, the only insurance of salvation I can give you, and I know I'm going to get ridden out of town on a rail for this, it's the scripture that Jesus says in Matthew 10 and Matthew 24. He who endures to the end shall be saved. That's all I can do. Well, that's a pretty good scripture. Because with his grace and his spirit, I'm going to endure to the end. Yes, 
sing it. He's risen. physically wrong with you right now just lift up your hands and let the Lord heal it it's that simple let's do it he's doing it let's sing out to the Lord together hear the bells ringing he's singing that you can be healed right now sing it Praise the name of Jesus with all your heart. Praise the name of Jesus. He's my rock. He's my for. Okay, your. You're my deliverer in you. Will I trust? Praise the name of Jesus. 